about things popping. So it's been wow seven weeks since um, I've gotten on here and done any videos other than for recreational purposes. Thanks for hanging in there, guys. Um, as we know, a lot of things were happening in the background, but not a lot of obvious stuff out in front. A uh, great example of that today is what's going on with AMC yesterday and today. We actually saw uh, driving it down throughout the day. And then lo and behold, that last hour or so of everything going on, uh, it, it starts to pop again. Yesterday we had AMC at 12.5% at the end of the day. So very significant. But let's talk about the elephant in the room for all intent and purposes. Yeah, we're talking about Ukraine. Um, I have been dealing with a, a slew of folks that are, oh, the poor Ukrainian people. Oh, that's terrible. Putin is bad. And the reality is you guys that are saying that are falling for uh, the exact thing that they want you to. The, they want you to believe exactly Putin is a bad guy. The reality is these guys are standing on the bodies of everybody they killed during the, uh, let's, let's just call it the crisis of the last 18 months. So the main reason this is happening, you know why? It's because he said the new world order is not welcome in my land. Plain and simple. He is one of several white hats in leadership positions that a lot of folks are not aware of. So, for example, Putin, of course, with 45. G with uh, China, uh, not the government there, but G himself. And then Kim over in North Korea. These guys are in on this, and they are totally up for what's going on, which is freaking awesome. So the reality is you're seeing uh, quite a bit going down in Ukraine, and I'm going to explain that in a minute here. So let's, let's talk a little bit about uh, what's going on. So the first thing is the, the face you make when Russia invades the country that launders your money. That is exactly the big thing that's going on right now. Remember, for them, it's all about the money. The reason they got into politics was strictly to enrich themselves. All the other perks and benefits that we'll talk about in a minute here are just byproducts. So some things to keep in mind here that most people are unaware of. Ukraine has been the hotbed of money laundering for ill-gotten gains for decades. And the more recent political coup of the mafioso takeover who subsequently incarcerated his opposition after the free election. This has been a monstrous burden on the people of Ukraine. The payoffs that Biden received and many others were hush money to allow them to proceed and continue with their plans. So keep in mind, all of this is being dealt with. Um, we have to have a clean house internationally. Some things to look at here that really matter. Uh, Killary, Brandon, and Bummer uh, are, are be, have been using this for money laundering. Keep in mind, Brandon is not in charge. We saw last week, and I don't have the image uh, on the article, but if you uh, go scan my Twitter feed, you'll find it. The Fox News was quoting something that supposedly came from Brandon. And of course it says from uh, the White House, President Barack Obama. This is a shadow presidency. Go back to what we listened to a couple of years ago when Oblamer was getting uh, out of office. One of the things he said would be wonderful is if somebody else could take the front seat, Brandon, he could do the things in the background. This is exactly what's going on right now. So keep that in mind. The areas that you're seeing being bombed are the Kazarian Mafia stronghold. The mainstream media won't tell you this, but Zelensky gave the green light to Putin to go in and wipe him out. This is why he said in his statement he was very specific. 
special military operation. It's being done via allied forces. The mainstream media is spinning it as they always do to fit the belligerent occupation administration's narrative. For weeks, both Russia and Ukraine have been telling everyone nothing is happening, there will be no invasion, Brandon is building the invasion narrative. And now we're hearing yesterday, oh, well, you know, there could be something nuclear or, or uh, a nuclear strike could happen. He's setting up a false flag, folks. Be aware of that. that Putin and, uh, uh, sorry, uh, Zelensky have been completely honest. So nothing's going on. Uh, so uh, China is about to use this smokescreen, though, to attempt to go after Taiwan. So keep all of that in mind. And there's a false flag for a uh, nuclear issue uh, coming. So keep that in mind as well. The reality is not only has this been money laundering, but it's a place where you can go to pay to play. And there are numerous bio labs there designed to create the demise of the world and get it down to that magic uh, Georgia Guidestone's 500 million number for population control. Where do you think the initial development and testing of the gain of function began? The fact that it worked and was taken to Wuhan, where it was either intentionally or accidentally released, is not the issue. The issue is they developed it at, to start the process here. Now, what's interesting is these bio labs are Department of Defense sponsored. They are here in Ukraine. This is documented. You can go and search this out. So Putin is bombing the heck out of these, and that's great. These are the satanic buildings, the trafficking holes, the corrupted DOD and uh, the U.S. government uh, that has been running Ukraine is getting ousted. This is Operation Cleanup. What's interesting is if you do an overlay of the two maps, you can see here's where the bombing's happening. Here's where those labs are. Huh. Isn't that interesting? They overlap almost identically. So do keep that in mind and see how nicely those things line up. So it's so simple if you know what you're looking for. The other thing to keep in mind, and this has been the case since Chernobyl, um, I was a, uh, a, a, uh, a regular donor to uh, the children that were impacted biologically and neuro neurologically by the fallout uh, from the nuclear disaster. And um, what they have done is this uh, hub in Ukraine is actually notorious for child trafficking. So the, the reality is these babies are sold to single men of certain orientation. Ukrainian police have raided a private reproductive clinic that has been allegedly selling them to China. Keep in mind, uh, human trafficking is looked at differently in Ukraine, and surrogate motherhood is a legal gray area in Ukraine. So this is indeed something that has to stop, and this is part of what's going on right now. So as long as we have the faux media in charge of the messaging, we're going to have to counter that aggressively with messaging, contradictions, and proofs. Get out there and start pointing out the obvious. For example, since when do we go into battle with wooden cutout guns? This was posted earlier this week. This is a piece of wood. It's not Photoshop. This is a piece of wood to represent an AK-47. When do we go to battle that way? Come on, this is ridiculous. So uh, this is all about setting up a narrative. And the other thing to think about is we have four uh, neocons, the liberal leaders. What do they have in common? Their children are all involved in the gas industry in Ukraine with absolutely no qualification or background in this. This would be unheard of in a real business society. So keep that in mind. This is why they don't want us in there. This is why they're championing Putin bad, Putin bad. So uh, don't let people uh, harp on that. Correct them. Ultimately, this is the cleansing of the Ukraine uh, from the cabal and New World Order actors and their projects. There are tunnels, there are dumbs, there are labs that must be destroyed to avoid a near-term repeat of the actions needed to stave off these plans. 
So keep in mind, there's not going to be a war. There isn't. In fact, it's over today. So Zelensky and the Ukrainians don't want the Illuminati there. Russia and Putin are ready to take them out. So he got the green light from Zelensky. NATO is staying out of it, wisely so, because Putin would uh, whoop them in a major way. So uh, the, the thing that we have to keep in mind is this is the last stages of the fall of the cabal. So I'm already trying to rein in uh, some well-meaning friends uh, that still believe the mainstream narrative. They post such nonsense about the war when the reality is the people in Ukraine are welcoming the cleansing and know what's happening. The rest of the world is being deceived by these deep state mainstream media actors still to this moment. So take time, stand up, correct folks, so they can look more closely. Speaking of which, if you didn't catch Biden's speech, when did he grow the third hand? Is this an artifact of getting all your boosters? I'm not quite clear about that. Uh, if that's the case, I'm certainly glad I avoided that. But, you know, if you're growing a third appendage for hands, uh, I think there's a problem there, don't you? So you keep that in mind. So uh, on, on another note, uh, for those of you that are hanging on for Nasara, there's a bit of interesting news that emerged two weeks ago, and I want to thank the Hintons for this. Check out what they found out. Uh, Biden, three, two weeks ago, signed an order to uh, r remove the three credit bureaus. Now, this could be, for New World Order purposes, to set up the social uh, equity system. The reality is, from what we understand, if we're removing and leveling the playing field and removing debts, removing those Credit reporting bureaus is just a fact of life. So keep that in mind. That's coming. And you can click the link here on the article. It'll take you to uh, her art, her video. It's awesome. Um, they're a recent find. I've only found them a, uh, about a week ago. So great people. So definitely check out her article. Remember, it's being played out now. They never thought they were going to get caught. And now they're in the trap that they helped develop without even knowing it. So all things considered, remember, nothing can stop what's coming. We have it all. And they never thought they would lose. And yet here it is. We're bringing down the whole thing around their ears. So have a great weekend. Do your research and make sure you correct people and help them understand Ukraine's in no jeopardy. Everything's great. They need to be aware there's going to be something to cause fear coming. But they have to be ready for it.